What's up y'all, it's Timmy, and in this episode, I'm surprising you guys with a new addition to the channel, so let's get into it. Welcome to Truck House Life, baby. Interstate 5 in California. We're in, uh, what should we call it? Stockton, California right now, heading towards uh, Cottonwood, California, which is close to Redding, California, which is pretty much close to the Oregon border. So that's where we're going, and we're, the big moment's coming then. We're picking up something really special. A little bit of a channel changer, so let's go get it. Oh man, I'm excited. We're about uh, 24 miles away from the big surprise. Woo -hoo -hoo. We are in Cottonwood, California right now. I'm going up to this house right up here to pick up the new surprise. <laughs> there it is. I gotta figure out how to get up in here. We here. Is that is that a uh, Suzuki Samurai behind me? That's weird. Huh? Wonder how that got there. All right, it's rest stop time. I don't even know what time in the morning it is, but it's time to go to bed. Good morning from the rest stop. Let's go. Absolutely beautiful morning out. Looks like it's starting to kind of snow. I'm getting pretty close to the Oregon borderline. So yeah, I did it. I bought a Suzuki Samurai, which is basically the first car I owned. I owned a couple of them and I just, I missed it. I don't know what else to say. And I want to get into some trouble up in Alaska in it and take you guys with me. And of course, I'm still doing all the truck house stuff, and I'm also gonna be doing a couple four wheeling videos off to the side. Maybe some camping in the Samurai too, who knows? We'll see, but I think it's gonna be fun. I've also only seen about four Suzuki Samurais in Alaska ever, maybe even less than that. So it's a pretty rare car. That's why I'm towing it all the way up there because they're already hard to find and you definitely can't find them in Alaska. So that'd be a fun rig to have up there. Well, this isn't good. I just got a check engine light. I've never seen that on this truck ever. Um, the idle is surging a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm gonna drive, at least try to get to the next town and try to figure it out. Okay, we're back in the road. The check engine light is gone. So I don't know what's going on there. I'll just go and if it comes on again, then something's probably up, probably a sensor or something. So we'll see. So my whole deal with this Samurai is I'm trying to do some wheeling and not spend a lot of money, which is hard to do for those of you that go out for wheeling. But I am gonna pick up a few things on my drive north towards Alaska. So today I'm gonna be stopping by Medford, Oregon and we're going to Trail Tough Off-Road, which is uh, basically like a Suzuki Samurai specialty off-road shop. They've been making Samurai stuff for like, I don't even know, 20 plus years or something, but we'll go check that out. So pretty stoked. When I bought the Samurai, it did not come with a front drive shaft at all. So I definitely have to get a front drive shaft. So, uh, or else I won't have four-wheel drive. So that's where we're going right now. I had them custom make it and it should be there in a little bit. If you can't tell, we're rolling through the high country of Oregon right now. It's gorgeous up here. is hilarious so you know the check engine light and uh the engine started stumbling a little bit i was like oh god no more breakdowns please i stopped at the gas station to fill up with diesel 
and my diesel cap was missing. So I forgot to put my freaking diesel cap on, which is making the engine burp, I guess, air getting in the tank or something. But anyway, got a new diesel cap for $10. Now she's running great. There we go. Problem solved. We're about to pass Ashland right here. So Trail Tough is in Medford, so another 20 minutes up the road, we'll be there. I see a whole bunch of Samurais. We're here at Trail Tough, right here in Medford, Oregon. Oh man, look at that Sammy graveyard, woo! All kinds of goodies up in there, guarantee it. All right, let's find a parking spot. Sorry guys, for some reason my audio was not working during a couple clips here, so I'll just talk it out. But I went into Trail Tough and got the drive shaft custom made, super stoked on it, they did an awesome job. And I decided that I should probably go ahead and install it right then and there. Just in case my truck broke down on the Alaska Highway, I'd have the Samurai and four-wheel drive that way it could get off. So I basically had to install the front drive shaft by hooking it to the front axle, the front third member, and the transfer case which is actually really simple to do. Um, and on the Samurai, it's lifted and it was on a trailer. So it was pretty simple to do. It's just four bolts on the front side of the drive shaft, four bolts on the back side that you can see right there. And then it's all on and good to go. Pretty sweet. You guys are probably wondering why did you buy a Suzuki Samurai? And I guess my reasoning is I just love adventuring and I love driving and I'm still gonna do stuff all the time in this truck house, obviously, but I'm also gonna do some side adventures in the Samurai and go to some really incredible places and take you guys with me uh, throughout Alaska and maybe beyond, who knows? Here's a pretty crazy story. When I was 16, uh, I got my first car, the, a Suzuki Samurai, of course, and had it for a while, I was doing four-wheeling, all that stuff, and enjoying it, loved the car. And I was on my way to high school one day. I decided to take a left turn uh, where the high school was because there is a BMX track there or used to be kind of a BMX track. And I just wanted to see what time the races were to go check out. Uh, put my signal on, came to a nice slow stop. It was a one lane road. I was waiting to take a left turn in the Samurai. I stopped for probably, I don't know, at least 10 seconds. My signal on and everything. And I remember my friend saying, what's that? because he heard tires squealing. And just as he took a sip of his orange juice, bam, this freaking, I just, it sounded like 10 shotguns went off in my ear, just super loud, Kah -kah! And my neck bent backwards and forward and uh, head hit the steering wheel. My friend's head hit the dash. And we got hit by a school bus of all things. Uh, it was a school bus driver that had been drinking and they, they got fired from that actually, but absolutely totaled the Samurai. Messed my back up to this day. My back is still a little bit messed up from that wreck. But anyway, uh, I got the insurance from the school to pay for another Samurai. So yeah, bought a second Samurai and modified that. And uh, I started a Suzuki uh, off-road club down in Georgia when I was 17 or 18. And uh, we just go wheeling like once a month I'd organize these meets all throughout the southeast and go uh, do some rock crawling and all that stuff. So anyway, I'm excited to get back into that stuff a little bit again. I'm still going to do healthy stuff, skiing and kayaking and all that. I've just added another way to adventure to the arsenal. So anyway, that's enough talk. I'm going to go to bed and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, that's a wrap, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to smash the like button down there and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more of the adventures and uh, maybe see what happens with the Sammy. So we'll see you next time. Peace, y'all.